I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzyme Mental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and because I've told you about AMPK, the metabolism boosting metabolic enzyme, today I wanted to tell you about one of the best herbal compounds you can ever take for boosting AMPK. And that, as you know, is berberine. So berberine is an alkaloid, which is a family of organic compounds containing nitrogen. There are actually thousands of alkaloids out there, many of which have countless beneficial effects. And some of these are very well known, like theobromine, which is the mild stimulant in cocoa, capsaicin, the alkaloid responsible for the heat and medicinal qualities of chili peppers, and even codeine, the drug used for pain reduction and as a cough suppressant. So berberine is naturally yellow in color, and berberine-containing plants have been used traditionally as dyes. And the most important berberine-containing herbs are barberry, Oregon grapefruit, golden seal, golden thread, Chinese golden thread, and bloodroot. In all of these plants, berberine is concentrated in the roots and or the rhizomes, making these the most medicinally valued parts of the plant. Herbalists have traditionally used berberine-containing plants to stimulate bile secretion and promote healthy digestion, and also to fight microbes like bacteria, fungi, parasites, and viruses. But berberine is also helpful for modulating inflammation and treating infections of the GI tract. As one specific example, berberine is very effective at killing the bacteria H. pylori and also the gastric inflammation that goes along with it. Berberine is also effective against several intestinal parasites and has been used in China for more than 50 years as a treatment for gastrointestinal issues like cholera, dysentery, and gastroenteritis. Berberine inhibits inflammatory signaling components in a variety of human and animal tissues, including the liver, adipose tissue, which would be fat, vascular and endothelial cells, and the intestines. Berberine also inhibits the inflammatory processes in osteoarthritic cells and reverses the cartilage damage of osteoarthritis. What is particularly interesting about berberine is that, again, as I told you before, it is an activator for the metabolic enzyme adenosine monophosphate activated protein kinase, also known as AMPK. This enzyme regulates how energy is produced and used in the body by initiating events to maintain energy homeostasis. The AMPK system senses changes in every metabolism, both in cells and throughout the body, and regulates activities involved in energy balance. If you've ever lost weight after starting a new low-carbohydrate diet, you've seen the work of AMPK. So in this way, AMPK's beneficial effects are broad-reaching throughout the entire body. One of the first places where berberine's positive effects on AMPK were recognized was for those suffering from metabolic syndrome, also known as pre-diabetes, and also type 2 diabetes. AMPK regulates activities that normalize glucose, lipid, and energy imbalances, pathways that are turned off in the case of metabolic syndrome, leading to hyperglycemia, lipid abnormalities, energy imbalances, and eventually diabetes. As little as 500 milligrams of berberine taken three times a day can improve fasting blood glucose and lowered hemoglobin A1c in newly diagnosed diabetics, it's also effective in those with poorly controlled diabetes. Aside from blood sugar balance, berberine may also help with some other complications of metabolic syndrome and diabetes by reducing oxidative stress and restoring the function of blood vessel linings. Berberine actually supports the reduction of total cholesterol, triglycerides, and LDL cholesterol. That's the bad cholesterol, again. And this is likely due to an upregulation of the LDL receptor, which allows for increased clearance of LDL from the bloodstream, rather than a blocking of cholesterol production, which is the mechanism that statin drugs use. Berberine also modulates pro-inflammatory cytokines and improves blood vessel tone and reduces inflammation induced by oxidized LDL cholesterol. Beyond berberine's AMPK activation, berberine has been found to be an aldose reductase inhibitor. Aldose reductase is a metabolic enzyme that plays a role in many of the complications of diabetic neuropathy, retinopathy, and neuropathy. 
Berberine was originally thought to be poorly absorbed because not much of it is present in plasma after ingestion. But researchers now believe that it's actually well absorbed but very quickly metabolized, leading some to suggest that it's actually the metabolites of berberine that have a beneficial effect. Dosages of berberine can range anywhere from 200 milligrams to 500 milligrams, and most dosage regimens call for taking it anywhere from two to three times a day. Berberine is generally well tolerated, although the most commonly reported side effects have included diarrhea, constipation, flatulence, and abdominal pain. Many of these are actually relieved by taking berberine with food and or decreasing your daily dose. Berberine is a bitter compound, so like all bitters, it is going to stimulate and support healthy digestion. But beyond that, berberine is one of the easiest and most accessible ways to activate your AMPK levels. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.